Hello and welcome to another video in my channel. Uh, today I will be talking about my Erasmus experience in Claypeda, Lithuania. So I have made a list of the things, I have my laptop here in case I need to search anything to tell you and uh, shall we begin? Since I will be talking about my Erasmus experience, I will start by talking how I selected the city, the university and things like that. And later I will uh, explain more about the city, what you can do there and explain a little bit more about my experience. Okay, explaining how I chose the university. As many of you might know or not, uh, every university is collaborating with a bunch of uh, universities across Europe. I am studying sports uh, science and physical education in the university, university of Athens, so my university, and especially my department, was collaborating with the University of Klaipeda in Lithuania. Uh, so, me, I had the option to apply in three universities and uh, made a uh, selection inside all the applicants in my department, so they would send us in all the universities uh, depending on how many places they had opens in their agreement. My first option was Almeria, Spain. Uh, the second was Porto, Portugal, and my third option was Klaipeda, Lithuania. Um, the thing is that in Lithuania, all the classes were in English. So this was a plus for me to apply there. Also, uh, the responsible uh, for the talks between the universities uh, and um, helping me with all the papers that I needed. It was a professor that I really had a good relationship and I had attended most of her classes and uh, it was easier for me to communicate with her. And the third and most uh, important reason why I chose to apply in Klepeda University is uh, because she told me that that it's a really important factor and it's a fact actually that from Greece it's so much easier to travel to countries like Spain and Portugal and like more mainstream that there are flights and they have a more uh, similar way of um, life than a country like Lithuania or even like the Scandinavian countries that is so much more expensive traveling directly from Greece. So this was a plus because when you go to Erasmus you have the opportunity also to travel and I could also visit the countries like Finland, Sweden, and um, I really wanted to do so. Fast forward, uh, after I was selected, this was like a month later, I needed to prepare uh, some papers uh, and uh, arrange the agreement between my university and the University of Klaipeda. Uh, to do so, I needed to get the acceptance letter that uh, this visa sent me from Klaipeda, and I needed to check uh, the um, available classes that they have for the semester that I was going and um, match the, their classes with mine in the University of Athens. Uh, usually this is a big problem from their, for the Erasmus students, but uh, to me it was quite easy. Uh, the thing is that you need to have a uh, specific amount of ECTS and uh, that means you might need to take so many classes depending the um, amount you need to do. Uh, but I didn't have such a problem like uh, everyone presented it to me. Later I needed to check flights, uh, but uh, because I was going the next spring semester, almost a year later, I needed to wait on that and that stressed me a little bit because from Athens we didn't have uh, direct flights to Lithuania at January that I wanted to go. So I was talking with the university, they were really helpful uh, from the University of uh, Klaipeda. They were sending me some papers about the dormitory, uh, if I needed to stay there or uh, if I needed to rent a flat, uh, they were really helpful. They immediately sent us uh, from the ESN um, um, section a mentor that he mailed us and he put us in a group uh, chat for this semester students that they were going and also every mentor had a group of people so it was going to be easier to meet between us and uh, fast forward to the end of January 2020 I was ready to start my Erasmus experience in Lithuania. As I said there were direct flights uh, to Lithuania so I had uh, to travel from Athens to London and from London to Kaunas and I passed the first night in Kaunas and uh, the next day I took a bus from Kaunas to Klaipeda. Uh, Klaipeda has a really good uh, rail work and uh, bus network that connects all the big cities together. 
So in like five hours, I was from Kaunas to Klaipeda, ready to start my Erasmus Plus studies experience. The semester was supposed to start on um, Monday, by, but I arrived in Kaunas on Thursday before that. And on Friday, I was in Klaipeda because I wanted to um, let all my things and uh, take a walk around the town to see what is going on, if I'm going to be able to communicate and some basic things. Uh, so I arrived to my dormitory that was actually uh, a little bit further from the city center and uh, I was the first one to arrive. So that was, it gave me a little bit of time to uh, see all the accommodation, to talk with the girl in the reception, to go to the supermarket and take the things that they needed, etc, etc. About the dormitories, when they sent me the email, they gave me two options because the Clayton University has two dormitories in the city. The one that is inside the city campus, that's a little bit more expensive, but it's a newer building. And the one I chose that was cheaper and it's a little bit further, but they had a really good bus connection to everywhere. So to me, it didn't really matter that I was further from the center. So I arrived to the dormitory, I'm taking all the facilities, I go to the supermarket to take some things to cook and have it. So the facilities that uh, were provided in my dormitory, it was a room with three beds. Uh, at the end, we ended up living only two people, so the extra bed, it was just there. And for every two bedrooms, there was a shared bathroom. And for the whole floor, there was a shared shower and a shared kitchen. To me, that wasn't a problem at all. And uh, at the end, we ended up leaving a few people in the um, in the dormitory. So it was like sharing a flat with a bunch of people. We didn't have any problem with the hours. Uh, there wasn't uh, any waiting in the shower or in the kitchen. We were making so many things um, at the same time. And as I said, my dormitory was a little bit further from the city center, but we had around a supermarket. Uh, bus stops for different uh, buses and in different locations. We had a small mall um, close to our dormitory and we had a big park that uh, you can enjoy and take uh, big walks. As I said, my dormitory was a little bit further from the city center, but we had around a supermarket, uh, bus stops for different uh, buses and in different locations. We had a small mall um, close to our dormitory and we had a big park that uh, you can enjoy and take uh, big walks. So my first uh, day I went to the supermarket, I got some things to cook, I made my lunch, I let all my things uh, and I went for a round around the dormitory to see what there is. The same night my roommate arrived, uh, so for uh, the next day we started hanging out and uh, visiting the center and doing things uh, so now I will talk a little bit about Klaipeda. Klaipeda is the third biggest city in Lithuania after Vilnius, that is the capital, and Kaunas. Uh, and also it's a big port, so that meant that the sea close uh, to it and a big river crossing the city. Uh, Klaipeda, it wasn't as big as uh, you would expect of a city. It was a really um, comfortable city to live. The center, or as it was called, the old town, it was actually um, the old town and the center of Klaipeda, and uh, there you would see the majority of the monuments that there are to see. The ESN actually organized in the first week that it was the welcome week and there were so many events to know each other and to know the city, uh, a tour in the city that actually really helped us um, locate ourselves uh, ourselves and see so many things. I will start by saying some of the biggest monuments that you can see in Klaipeda uh, in case you guys ever visit. Starting with the most uh, uh, important one, it's uh, the bridge that is going on crossing um, the city uh, where the river is passing and there you can see the really famous Meridianas. And Meridianas is a big wooden ship that is actually the symbol of the city. And it's a big attraction uh, and everyone just loves to go there and uh, take photos with it. Also, there is a restaurant um, working on the lower deck. But about that, I think you need to make a reservation so much uh, time ago. I, I continue. To the side of the bridge, there is also a mermaid, a sculpture of a mermaid. 
um, that uh, the legend says that if you touch it, you're going to make your dream, your dreams come true, or you're going to go back to uh, Lithuania, or something like that. I I am not uh, completely sure <laughs> what was the legend. Um, another sculpture that there is is that of a little mouse that is supposed to be that if you touch its ears, also it will bring you luck. The same goes with the sculpture of the cat that you can find in the streets uh, of uh, Klaipeda. Uh, lastly, next to the bank, uh, the old bank of Klaipeda, on the wall there, there are some coins that uh, if you touch them, uh, you are guaranteed that you're going to win money. Uh, all these legends are fun and uh, you might not believe in them or whatever, but it's a, a really fun uh, way to pass your day strolling around trying to find these attractions in the city. Another really famous uh, um, sculpture we have is in uh, Klaipeda is that of the ghost. The black ghost is uh, a sculpture of a ghost crawling out of the river. This is in the back side of the Klaipeda port. And according to the legend, this um, uh, ghost was seen by a sailor doing his night uh, walk from there and the ghost instead of attacking him, he just asked him uh, how are the city's uh, supplies of food are going? And the sailor answered, everything is going really good, we have uh, plenty of them. And the ghost warned him that uh, be careful because soon the supplies will be reduced. The sailor um, said to his superiors about this encounter and uh, uh, some really dark years were followed there in Klaipeda where they um, starved so many people because the supplies indeed increased. Uh, decreased. Uh, this is a legend and uh, do you know how back then everyone used to believe about the ghost and all that so this is just how, uh, what the legend uh, says. Another thing you need to see when you visit Klaipeda is their big mall that is called Acropolis. There you can find uh, all the modern stores and so many things uh, to buy. To continue, we have the ferry that is crossing the island and takes you to Nida, where the, you can find the Sea Museum and the aquatic uh, park that uh, uh, it's open uh, some days and you can watch a show of dolphins. Uh, another thing you can do there is visit the Nida beach. On the other side of Klaipeda also there is a beach, the Smiltines uh, beach, that is uh, such a large uh, uh, area full of sand that you can go and enjoy. Uh, another thing you can do there is visit the Nida beach. On the other side of Klaipeda also there is a beach, the Smiltines uh, beach, that is uh, such a large uh, uh, area full of sand that you can go and enjoy the water in the hottest month. Be careful, the Baltic Sea there is a high chance that is freezing and I tell you that from experience. <laughs> and while you are there in the city of Klaipeda, you need to try as many beers as you can because uh, there are so many Lithuanian beers filtered in Africa and beers from all over Europe. Also the most additional dishes that you need to try is the Sepelinai, that is a um, potato filled with uh, meat with a really special sauce and uh, the beetroot soup, uh, soup. I know it might not be sounding uh, as good because it has piru but it has a really pretty pink color and it's a cold soup that tastes delicious. Moving on uh, from the city to the ESN section um, I already mentioned that uh, they assigned a mentor to all of us so we would uh, go to them with any question we might have. I, they also organized the first week to be uh, a welcome week that uh, they made. Um, the first day uh, a class more or less with uh, a presentation of uh, Klaipeda and Lithuania in general about all the things we needed to know. Uh, the second day they made us a safety course about the city, the third day we made um, the city tour uh, in the morning and the Thursday we arrived in my favorite activity we ever did in um, the welcome week. Uh, before I start there I want to say that also in the first day we made a really interesting uh, uh, activity that made us talk to each other and uh, know each other. They gave us a paper with some questions 
like uh, someone who has blue eyes, someone who has more than five pairs of shoes and all that, and you need to go around the room and ask uh, each other, so maybe do you have more than five pairs of shoes? And okay, well, what's your name? And you write the name so you get to know each other and um, it takes you out of your comfort zone. So arriving to Thursday, the best thing ever we did was a pub crew. We were randomly divided in groups and uh, we need to make a pub crew. We visited all the bars and we had a paper that, uh, telling us uh, how many points we can win about any some activities. Like uh, if you uh, take a beer, it's uh, three points. If you take a beer uh, in one shot, it's uh, 50 points. Uh, if you drink uh, tequila shots, uh, 50 points. I think like that. And the team that at the end uh, won the more uh, points, won a, a prize. The specific one was a, a spa day for the team or something like that. It was really interesting, it was really fun, we get to know each other and uh, we really made some good memories since uh, the first week. Uh, then Friday we needed to relax from that uh, <laughs> all that drinking and Saturday we went to a fish festival that was happening in Palanga. Palanga is like an hour away from Klaipeda, it's a port and it has a really nice beach to eat and um, try the local food. In the meantime we all got our uh, classy schedule and uh, I, on Monday we started to attend. I took a bunch of uh, psychology classes and all of them were in English and by the end of that the exam was mostly by projects. Uh, I will make a special mention of one class that was dolphin assisted therapy that we started going to the aquarium and uh, we were going to work with uh, the dolphins and it was about psychological support and uh, psychomotor uh, support of uh, kids or even adults. Uh, this program still runs and if uh, you know anyone who has um, mental problems, uh, motor problems or whatever and you think uh, that might help them, you can talk uh, with the center and uh, arrange uh, evaluation and later participate in that uh, uh, project because we work on that and it was really such a good opportunity and I think it will go, it's going to help so many people. I will tell you some uh, of the things I like doing there. There are so many bars that, uh, that are really good and you can try so many beers and uh, have fun and also try some of the local food. Uh, my favorite bar of all it was Bukowski bar. I just love it so much. I went there the first day and after that it was my favorite. A really good bar also is Faxas and that everyone loved and everyone went. As it goes to clubs, we usually went to Kiss Club. It wasn't our favorite but we were always getting inside and you can take 10 shots for 10 euros so it was really cheap uh, to get drunk. Another bar we visit was the Mr. Bond Club. Uh, I like the music, I like, I like the ambience, it was really nice. Uh, here I think I need to mention that uh, when I went to my Erasmus experience in uh, Klaipeda, Covid happened. So there was a month that uh, we didn't do many things and that was a little bit weird for us. A really good burger you can eat is uh, at the IQ uh, bar. It was so nice. I love the food there. So there are so many bars and uh, restaurants across the river that uh, you can take a look and uh, if there is any spot available take the chance and stay by the river uh, at the Sunset Tower. It's Precious. It's really pretty. Seriously, you need to do that. I mentioned before about how you can move around the city. Uh, if you get a monthly bus card, it's like 560 per month. It was really easy and the buses take you everywhere. Also, in uh, Lithuania, you need to download the Bolt application. It's um, like Uber. It's a taxi service and uh, uh, you know how you pay immediately inside the application, uh, usually it's really cheap, the price starts uh, for, from 3 euros or even less and uh, it's always to, uh, to about the taxes that are closer to you. So you arrive where you want fast and uh, really cheap. Cost of living, comparing to Greece it was cheap, it was really cheap, I don't have anything to say about that. Uh, I don't remember something that was 
too expensive. They had so many things and you could really live in a, with all the facilities really good. Moving to something really important about uh, students there, because uh, you are going to go to buy alcohol and I'm sure about it and I recommend it to go to a house or in your, dorm in your dormitory is not allowed, but go to a house and pre-drink before going outside. Uh, you can only buy alcohol before 8 uh, p.m. and on the Saturday uh, until 1 uh, p.m. I think. And you need to have more than 18 years old. If not, you are not able to buy the alcohol because they check, uh, they check your ID in the cashiers. Moving on, before COVID happens, we had the opportunity to travel to Kaunas. We really had fun. It was uh, a weekend. It was so raining. We didn't see so many things. It's not my favorite uh, city, I will be honest. After COVID, we traveled to Hill of Crosses, such a majestic uh, um, monument in uh, Lithuania. If you visit, you need to go. Uh, and we also traveled to Vilnius. Vilnius, I think I will need to make another video uh, apart from that because it was my favorite city and I really had fun there. So wait for that, I will make a Vilnius video. I have so many things to say about Vilnius. Now, about traveling to another countries. From Klaipeda, you can easily and with a, a few ma uh, money travel to Letonia and from Letonia to travel to Estonia. Uh, from uh, Klaipeda, in only 5 hours and uh, more or less 15 euros, you can arrive to Riga and the same goes from Riga to Tallinn. Uh, in that video I will only mention that, that it's really easy to go with uh, the bus uh, and I think I will make another video for each city separately. Uh, you don't need to go for so many days, in two days you can see all of it. And uh, from Tallinn to Helsinki, I didn't have the chance to go, but I had friends from Erasmus that uh, they did, and you just need to take the morning uh, ship and pass across. But I, I am not sure about the money you need to pay and all that. That you better uh, search on the internet. Okay, last but not least, some tips uh, uh, about the way of living there. Take a Lithuanian phone number. It's going to uh, help you so much for the data and all that because sometimes from the European Union it's not working. To travel there from the European Union you only need your ID and to the countries across. But if you want to cross uh, to Russia you need to have a... You need to take out an um, IZ card that is international student uh, uh, card because you're going to have some benefits and uh, it's going to be equi equivalent to your uh, student card from your country. And uh, also, if you want and if you have the opportunity, an ESN card because you have so many offers in uh, Ryanair, in trains, in uh, so many um, enterprises around the world. So this was today's video. I tried to mention uh, as many of the things I could and to make it short so it won't uh, bore you to death. Uh, in case I didn't answer any of your uh, questions or any of the doubts you had about the city, you can uh, uh, leave your question in the comments and I'm going to reply. And uh, if you don't want to make it public, you can uh, direct uh, message me on Instagram and I will uh, get back to you. So, this was about my Erasmus experience. I really uh, had fun in uh, Glypeda. I met some really cool people. It's a lifetime experience and I will always uh, remember it and uh, miss that experience so much. Uh, if in any point of your life you had uh, the opportunity, do it. Go on Erasmus. It's worth it 100%. So, this was the video for today. See you in another video. Bye!